Brittany, why that one dark today? <laughs> Instagram warriors. Can y'all see me? <laughs> it's Brittany, her lighting. Mm -mm. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? I can't see. Is it my glasses? Oh, you know what? What you Hold do? Hold on a second. Oh, you just got it down. It's on night shift. Well, it's not night shift. Good morning. Hey, good I still can't see. I'm blinded by this other light in my face. Sorry. Hi, Miss Vanessa. Hi, Kara. Hi, Latoria. Yeah. Hey, Pat, you make five. <laughs> What's up? How y'all doing? It's, good. it's dark. Can y'all see me over there? I was going to take my glasses off, but that would just make it worse. Mm. I don't know. We're all messed up. Oh, oh, oh and well, then there was light. Uh oh, then there good. wasn't. Can y'all see me? morning hi tabby hey true give can you see me true give that okay that's better hi sandra good morning y'all are so awesome share the video please i miss you too christ is my redeemer yes okay so they see me fine okay great hi sarah i love you sarah we still got to get together we haven't gotten it together just yet um what's everybody up to this morning y'all have a good weekend i know you did because you're a prayer warrior hi thin team Oh, yeah, I was told to stop putting my iPad over my beautiful shirts. So, I'm sorry. I got to work on that. It's a habit of putting that <clears throat> iPad over my chest. I'm sorry. I'm going to work on it. Brittany, don't let me do it today. Okay. Brittany going to keep me in check. So, hi there, everybody. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Karen. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Veronica. Uh, hi, Faith Christian Center in Pittsburgh. Hello, Ada, Oklahoma. <laughs> All the warriors. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, it is 5.57 a.m. Hey, have you got a testimony? Something great that happened to you over the weekend. Well, hello, Amy Marie Martin. Thanks for joining the Warrior Nation. <laughs> Type in your testimonies. Type in anything awesome that God has done since the last time we were together. And I'm just excited. Good morning, overcomer in you. Amen. Hi, Lee Warrior. Thank you, KC Wife from Instagram. All right. Yes, let's thank God for another day. Hi, Leslie. I love you. Um, got a couple things we got to talk about, but let's go ahead and type in our love notes to our Abba Father first. Good morning, Sharetta. So, Father, we just thank you. Oh, happy birthday over there on Instagram, CLAV26. Happy birthday to you. Okay, y'all, let's hide lashing. Love you, love you. Let's go ahead and type in a prayer to the Lord this morning, just telling him thank you. Father, we thank you for this amazing day, Lord. Thank you. I have missed the Warriors. I have gone through Warrior Withdrawal this weekend, Lord. Thank you for just this privilege of coming back and just spending this time with my family, Lord. Thank you so much for it. God, we ask you to bless our time together as you always do. And Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. Our ears are open and inclined to your instructions. Give us hearts that will willingly obey and make the necessary adjustments. Father, we thank you that we're walking out our destinies, Father. We're finally in position. And Lord, we just believe that you would do exactly what you have promised concerning us, Father. We just believe today, God, that our latter years shall be greater than our former years. God, we just believe that you're doing things and about to do things in our lives beyond what we could either ask or imagine. So, Father, today we look to you. We trust you. We depend on you. We acknowledge you as our Jehovah Jireh. You provide for us, God. We acknowledge that you perform miracles still today, as you did in the days of the early church, God, and in the Old Testament as well. Father, you're still the God of miracles. Jesus, you're still Jehovah Rapha. You still heal us of our sicknesses and our diseases. So this morning we declare... I am healed, healed from sicknesses in our bodies, in our minds, just all the way around, Father. We thank you for divine healing. We thank you for supernatural intervention, God. We thank you for the miracles and signs and wonders that will follow the warrior nation, the body of Christ today, Lord. We just rejoice in the goodness of who you are, Father. You're uh, Jehovah Jireh. You provide. You're Jehovah Sikhanu. You are a righteous one, God. We just love you, Father. We love you, and we just thank you. Y'all just type in this morning, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for just breathing new air into our lungs today, Father. We thank you for giving us eyes to see this day God we thank you for keeping us safe through the night and through the weekend and keeping our families safe God we thank you for making ways out of no way we thank you for parting the Red Sea for us over and over and over again God we thank you this morning we love you father we bless you we magnify you bless our time Lord in Jesus name we pray hallelujah and amen he's so good type it in and say thank you Jesus Lord you're so worthy hmm Oh, we sure did. Oh, hold on, y'all. I forgot to flip my picture. It might not be too late. Oh, sorry. That's my vision board. Too late. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't flip the picture this morning. Oh, well. Good morning, Miss Johnny. Um. Okay, so y'all got to see my other vision board over there. All right. It's 6 o'clock on the dot. And a couple things I want to say. But first, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Make sure you share the video, please. Those of you on Facebook, I know Instagram can't share it. Um. Let's see what else. 
I guess we should go ahead and do the weather, huh? Did y'all give me y'all weather forecast today? It's been still raining here for like a month strong now. So, yeah, still raining. I was this today because, you know, my app kind of acts crazy sometimes. No. Yes. Yes. 63 right now and clear in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, feels. Did I say 68 or 78? Oh, it's 78. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Hold on, y'all. This thing went back to um Friday. Wait a minute. It did say 68 and it changed. It needs to stop playing. Okay, hold right there. Oh, it keeps switching, y'all. We might not we might not have a weather forecast today. Bear with me. Pray for me while I find the weather. Y'all know I can't go on out the weather. It keeps switching back. No, it's not. It's just saying a flash flood watch. But why is it saying that? And that was three days ago. Did you say seven eight on your little bootleg phone? Uh, Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. Oh, I'm sorry. On my phone. <laughs> All right. It looks like it's 78 degrees. It's got to be right. Yeah, that's it. All right. Sorry, a little technical difficulty. Got to make sure I tell y'all right. Okay, y'all got it going. She said dry North Augusta, South Carolina, high 92. Thank you. Okay, 78 degrees this morning in Jackson, Mississippi. Feels like 78, high of 88. Um, I feel like when I talk fast, I sound more like a meteorologist. You know how they talk fast. Let me get it going here. The winds are coming out of the east, northeast at 7 miles per hour. Sun came over at 5.55 a.m. and it's going down at 8.11 p.m. It is partly cloudy today and looks like for the first time in a month, no rain. So that's our forecast for today. Okay, y'all, let me tell you the discipline pointing news let me tell y'all that first penny said oh no but it's okay y'all my trip to dallas is canceled i am not going to the mega fest um i have to cancel my flight this morning i was supposed to leave out tomorrow evening at 5 40 but i have to cancel that trip the trip has been canceled because charlene aaron from cbn news um i was going with the christian broadcasting network and so charlene's daughter went into labor yesterday one month early and she delivered a beautiful baby girl named Mercy May, almost six pounds at four weeks early. So yesterday, Charlene texted me. I know she texted me and she said, Kelly, I am in a dilemma. Charity is in labor. And at that time, she was like three to five centimeters. And so Brittany was with me and I said, OK, this is not the time to be selfish. This is the time to pray that this baby is born healthy and strong because God still has a plan so as bad as i wanted to say lord i want to go to mega fest this is my dream i had to do the mature thing and pray that that the charity was safe that that baby would be born safe and god did it the baby is beautiful little mercy m-e-r-c-i and so charity's doing well and that is more important than a trip to mega fest um i pray and i said god <laughs> It's okay to have interruptions. God is the God of interruptions, and sometimes God will interrupt our plans um, for his divine plan. And I'm coming to a place that I'm good with that. So the old me would have probably just had a fit, but the the mature me, the, the woman I'm becoming in God, was like, God still has a plan. Uh, I will not be put to shame. He would not disappoint. And let me tell y'all something. I'm going to have to lay this out there. What I, what I experienced yesterday was I felt, I see you, Sarah. I felt like God was saying, see, Kelly, what you've been after. And I was like, but God, I really wasn't after this. Like, okay, I know I used to be. Like, I, I mean, I, I tell you all the time, Bishop Jakes is on every vision board in this closet. And I was so after it. Like, I was like, if I could just meet Bishop Jakes, if he would just give me an opportunity to speak at his church, or I want to be on the stage at Megafest. And, you know, it's all I, I wanted so badly. And God was telling me yesterday, and he's been telling me for a few weeks, that what I've been after, he has already given me when he blessed me with y'all. Like, God was like, launch a prayer fest. <laughs> Let that be the name of your annual conference. So, we, you know, we were going to name our annual conference Warriors on the Front Line. And I don't know. I just felt like when that happened yesterday that maybe God was wanting to birth something else. Like, we're the Warrior Nation and we represent prayer. And so, we were going to name our annual conference that we're planning to do in April. We don't have everything set out yet. But we were going to name it Warriors on the Front Line. And, you know, Thad and everybody was like, well, I think I kind of like that name better. I said, but we pray. So whether we name it prayer fest or something else, and I'm open to ideas, it has to be something that represents what we do because we pray. Like, that's what we do. And so, but God showed me that what you've been after, I have already given it to you. It is yours. So, like, whether you go to Megafest or not, I have already given you the thing that you thought somebody else had to give you. 
like God giving me y'all is not like I told you, it's great to go and meet amazing people. But I promise you, there is nothing more satisfying than spending my mornings with y'all. And I was very concerned because I didn't want to leave y'all. And every time I go to a hotel and I do this Facebook live and stuff like that, we have technical difficulties. She said prayer fest. I feel it in my spirit, y'all. And so I was concerned that I was going to lose you guys for three days because I was concerned that the phone might act up. It always acts up in hotels. I was concerned about leaving y'all shirts here unattended. I know that might sound a little crazy, but I mean, we pray over these shirts every day. They're in our prayer room on the other side of the house. And I promise when we walk in that room, it feels like at least 50 people are in that room. Like, I believe God allows angels to just rest over that room. When we go in that room, I started saying, good morning, angels, because I can literally feel a presence of like a crowd of people in that room when we go in that room. And so I was, I didn't want to leave the shirts for three days. I didn't want to leave y'all for three days. And God showed me that what I'm after, he's already given me. So I'm not disappointed. I'm thankful that this baby got here safely. I'm thankful that God did it yesterday because Charlene was supposed to fly out this morning for Dallas at 5.30 this morning. God is perfect, y'all. And like I said yesterday, I'm going to say it again and we're going to move on. I trust him. The old me would have had a fit. Like, seriously. Like, I would have been like, Lord, are you serious? Are you serious? I've already told the Warriors that I was going. I showed them this vision, my vision board. And I still believe one day I'm going to be on that stage. But see, I didn't ask God to go and interview people. I asked to give me a microphone because I feel like I have a word. But whether I do it there... Or there and prayer fest, which what we're going to have is going to be done. And so I'm okay with it this morning. I shared that because I want y'all to be okay when God interrupts things in your life. I want you to know that the interruption is not a denial. It's God shifting you in the right direction. I don't know why the ultimate, I don't know the ultimate reason why the plan will interrupt. And I have to cancel my flight this morning that was already paid for. I don't know why. But what I do know is that out of this experience, just like when uh, we had a problem with Facebook Live, on November 27th of 2016 and the next morning I felt in my spirit to go live that morning and from that morning to this morning we have not stopped going live Monday through Friday but it, I only did it because there was an interruption when I did that video that Sunday night the video was deleted and I felt like God was saying do it again and I got back on the next morning and I said it was gonna be a one-time thing and then God said no keep doing it but I only did it because there was an interruption in what I thought was my normal program so interruptions are okay Let's embrace interruptions and say, God, I trust you. Like, no matter what it looks like, I don't care. I trust you, Father. And now I do believe that the Warrior Nation, we will be having an annual prayer fest where all the generals in prayer will gather. And those who are in need of prayer, it's just going to go down. Like, we're going to pray about things. And as we come together for these prayer fests, the destinies of nations are going to change. I believe it's going to be international. I believe people are going to come from all over the world. And I do believe it's going to be in Atlanta because remember, my ultimate dream is for us to pack out the Georgia Dome. So with that being said, it's all good. We thank God for interruptions. Today I named the um, the message, which is brief, caught in the egg. I think I put that on there. I hope I did. Did I change that and put, uh, <laughs> I think I put caught in the egg. If not, that's what it's supposed to be and I'll change it afterwards. Um, thank you for the weather, Latanya. Also, y'all, uh, remember to order your shirts. We're able to ship them out faster now. So we get up every morning at three and we start praying and packaging our shirts. So, hey, it works. Like I said on Friday, you got to work your ministry. Um, thank y'all for praying for me yesterday over my dream house. I'll talk more about that tomorrow since I've already talked too long today. But I thank y'all for praying for me. And I have decided that no matter how big warrior apparel gets, I want to house it in my house. Um. Yeah, so I, in this new house that I, we were able to walk into yesterday that we do not qualify for, for the record. Uh, God's going to have to perform a miracle, but we do serve a God of miracles. But there is a room in there for Warrior Nation Apparel. I just want to house it in my house. I want to keep my eye on the stuff. I want to pray over the stuff. I don't want everybody's hands touching the stuff. I want to make sure that it's blessed and prayed over before y'all get your shirt. So it will have to be um, in my house. Um, I'll share this testimony tomorrow since we run out of time today. I got a testimony that I'll share it tomorrow. Okay, with that being said, let's roll in to Daniel 6. Um, we're going to do what? 1 through one through 5? Type in, caught in the act. This is so good, y'all. So, so good. So good. So good. So, we ended on Friday with, um, Daniel giving King Nebuchadnezzar, no, King, um, what's that guy's name? What, um, uh, Belshazzar. Brittany helped me at all, y'all. King Belshazzar, um, he died that night and Daniel had given him the um, interpretation of the writing on the wall and then right then you know Darius rose up and Cyrus and so we jump into six with Darius now being in charge as the king of Babylon and so type in I'm calling the act this morning I'm busted 
You got me. I'm caught. Check this out. We want to be caught just like Daniel was caught. So beginning in Daniel 6, 1 through 5, Darius the Mede decided to divide the kingdom into 120 provinces, and he appointed a high officer to rule over each province. The king also chose Daniel and two others as administrators to supervise the high officers and protect the king's interests. Daniel, I love this, y'all. Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and high officers. Because of Daniel's great ability, the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. Then the other administrators and high officers began searching for some fault in the way Daniel was handling government affairs. Let me interject. There's always a hater. There's always somebody in our business trying to pick and find fault. Just wanted to interject that there. So, but... They couldn't find anything to criticize or condemn. He was faithful, always responsible, and completely trustworthy. So they concluded our only chance of finding grounds for accusing Daniel will be in connection with the rules of his religion. Type it in. I am caught in the act. I'm caught in the act. I'm busted. I'm guilty of serving the only true and living God. When you come searching and spying on me, the only thing you're going to find is me being madly in love with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're not going to find me doing anything shady. You're not going to find us doing stuff that's bootleg. We're going to do it right, and we're going to do it for the glory of God. So in this situation here, Daniel, once again, oh, y'all, he was old by this time, but still fit for business. Once again, elevated to a high position in the kingdom. Um... You would think that because of the work that Daniel had done in the previous uh, rulership with Nebuchadnezzar and, and given interpretation of Belshazzar, that he would have been pe viewed as maybe an enemy to this new kingdom because of how it all went down. But instead, it's like uh, Darius just had an eye, an extraordinary eye, and he was able to see that Daniel was just not like everybody else. Like, that's our prayer, that when people look at the people in the warrior nation, there's, it's just something about him. It's just something about her. And this is exactly what happened with Daniel. Darius saw something in him, even as an old man. So age is not an excuse, y'all. We can be used for the glory of God until he calls us home. And so he promotes him. But check this. Darius had this master plan, and he so he assigns all these leaders to 120 provinces. So you got 120 leaders. And then on top of those leaders, he assigned three presidents to rule over those people. And of those three, our boy, Daniel, was over them. He rose to the top because he was extraordinary. He was a man of excellent spirit. That's what we want people to say about us, that we're extraordinary and of excellent spirit. So he rises to the top. So guess what? The other presidents have an attitude about it, and they're mad because Daniel was extraordinary and excellent in spirit and was promoted over everybody. So they decide to send out spies to find Daniel hopefully mishandling government affairs. They wanted to find fault in him. They wanted to say, you know what? He ain't all that. He, he's not extraordinary. I don't know why King Darius is promoting him because he's just like everybody else. He shouldn't be in the lead. But instead, when they sent the spies, they found nothing. They didn't find fault. They didn't find a mistake. He was without spot or blemish. And so the only thing they thought they could come up with was to accuse him of, uh, you know, partaking in his religion, of serving the God of Israel. That's the only fault they could find. Note, King Darius didn't care who he served because he felt like every God was one God. But nevertheless, they sent these spies out and they found Daniel caught in the act of being faithful to our God. We went over this this morning. I said, I want to be called to act. Bust me. Charge me. Let me be guilty with doing the work of my father. Bust me for serving God. Bust me for being faithful. You come looking. Find me on my face. Find me sharing the gospel. Find me doing what I'm supposed to do. Find me in position. What about you this morning? Is that to your prayer? Bust me. Catch me. But when you catch me, all you're going to be able to say is, I'm faithful. Like, I'm sold out for real. Oh, he loves God for real. She loves God for real. She's not doing things shady. She's not playing church. She's for real. And it just shows you that even in his old age, he never strayed away from his relationship with God. He didn't get settled and established and get lazy, y'all. He pressed. He kept pressing. He kept serving. And he did not hide his love for God. And that's the same way we are, Warrior Nation. We're busted. That's right. Clean hands. Clean hands. Let us be found with clean hands. I love that on Instagram. I love God for real. I do too. That's our prayer this morning, y'all. 
that we be caught in the act of serving the only true and living God. That we're faithful warriors. That we're not just playing like we're these amazing prayer warriors. No. We go in for real. We pray for real. We don't just gossip and talk about people. We pray for real. That's what we are, y'all. That's what we represent. Those who got a call for a time such as this to go in for other people, to pray for other people, and to just walk that Christ-like life. That we can be examples. That we can be lights. That cannot be hidden like cities up on a hill. That's what we want to be. And that's what we are. So, yes. I don't care what the enemy tries to do. Let our only fault be that we are faithful to our God. Our God with a capital G, the only God, the one true and living God, the God who is the creator of everything on the in the universe and everything in between, Elohim. That's the one we're going to be called being faithful to, y'all. No matter what, we keep our eyes on God. We keep our eyes on Jesus. We are led by the Holy Spirit. And that's it, y'all. They can, they can hunt and search and snoop and install cameras and do whatever they want. Let us be found being faithful to our Father. With that being said, please share this video. We're going to go ahead and jump into prayer. God is awesome, y'all. Type it in. Daddy, you're awesome. <laughs> Catch me. Catch me. You are awesome. I'm not changing my mind. I don't care who asked the question or who's around. They will see that we love God for real. Father, we thank you. We thank you, thank you, thank you for this example in Daniel 6, 1 through 5. Daniel did not waver. No matter who was in charge, no matter who was watching, he was a man of excellent spirit, a man who loved you for real, a man who served you for real, a man who was unashamed of the God that he served, God. And we thank you that he did not blend in, and neither will we. We will not blend in. We were made to stand out, God, to be examples for you. And we thank you, God, by the power and grace of your Holy Spirit. We will do what we're supposed to do, God. We will be caught in the act of loving you. When you come back for your church, let us be the ones that you find without spot or blemish. That is our prayer this morning. As I always ask you, Daddy, please go before my brothers and sisters in the warrior nation. Make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. Father, keep them out of the reach of their enemies. Let their enemies watch, but let them find no fault except that we love you, Father. Lord, as we walk out into this dark and perilous world today, we ask that we be armored up, God, with the belt of truth around our waist. Uh, with the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Father. We wear sandals of peace. We carry the shield of faith and the sword of spirit, which is your word. We thank you for this word. We thank you for this study every single morning that empowers us, God, and that shows us how we can apply these lessons to our lives. Father, we thank you for it. Enlarge the warrior nation's territory. Grant them favor. Give them wisdom, balance, judgment, understanding, insight into the things to come, Father. Give them the steps that they are to take, God. Wherever there is confusion, let there be clarity in their decision-making, God. Light up the path that you have for each of us, Father. And we thank you for it this morning. Lord Jesus, we always pray. We thank you for our precious Avery Anderson. We thank you for her life. And we declare that she is healed. We declare that Jordan's strength is healed. That Shania is healed. That Mariah Grace, oh, and baby Tonto, Father, I saw a video of him this weekend where he's cooing and talking. You are Jehovah Rapha. And we thank you that you are the master cardiologist, God. And we just bless you for this morning, Lord Jesus, for the life of Monica Sykes, the yellow hearts, Father. We thank you that her death was not in vain. We thank you that justice will be served, Father. We thank you for the mantle that you've given her family, her mother, and that you will strengthen their hands for the work that is ahead, God, and that you will keep them very close to your heart. And on those days when they're just downtrodden and just their countenance is falling, God, you will lift them because you're the lover of our souls and the lifter of our heads. We bless you this morning for Jehiah McMath, God. And we just still stand in faith that you will do the impossible in her life for our precious London and baby Gabriel, God. You're the master oncologist, Father. There's nothing for you to cause a tumor to dissipate, Lord, and restore us. So, God, this morning, we, the warrior nation, we stand on Isaiah 53 and 5, and we declare that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. We thank you for this morning, oh God. There is none like you, Father. Whatever request that you have this morning, Warrior Nation, if you've not typed it in yet, go ahead and type it in so we can get into agreement with you. Father, we thank you. This these prayer requests are coming in this morning. We already know that you see, that you take notice, and we as brothers and sisters in the Warrior Nation, we stand in the gap. We stand with our brothers and sisters this morning, and we just believe, God, that you're moving mountains, uh, that you're answering these petitions in a way that will bring you the most glory and honor to your name. We stand in the gap for the lost today, the destitute, the widows, the orphans, Lord, the drug addicts, the alcoholics, God, all God, all of us have fallen short of your glory. And Lord, today we just stand the gap and we pray that all who do not know you will come to know you. Father, we bless your name today. And we just thank you for being so good to us, Lord. Please bless the warriors. Let today be a day filled with good news and miracles and signs and wonders. That they will meet deadlines. They will see favor and grace in a way they've never seen before. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. We thank you, Father. He's good, y'all. Uh, Brittany, did you post the link for these t-shirts? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the orders that have come in for the I Am Healed t-shirt. It just lets me know that I was obedient when God gave me this idea. So we'll post the link again. A lot of people are getting them for other people. People battling cancer, people battling lupus, just all types of things, breathing disorders and heart conditions. So people are buying the shirts for other people. Like if you're in good health and um, they're buying them for other people that they know who are battling or fighting for their lives right now. So I thank you for that. The I Am Woman Conference, y'all. I'm trying to go ahead and post the registration early and not wait till July 1st. I am trying to post it in the morning. Um, so I'm going to aim to post it in the morning, like probably first thing in the morning. I'm going to create an event in Facebook. You can also read, you also be able to register from my website, kellylane.org. But I will create an event in Facebook. So if you want to come to Facebook and register, that's fine. And just be in prayer uh, with me about the event. I'm a little nervous. It's the first event that I've done completely by myself so i just have to trust god and i can't be telling you to do stuff afraid if i'm not going to do it so i'm just going to jump out there once again and i believe that god's not going to let us fall so i'm going to try my best to post that in the morning if i am i'll make a little post tonight letting you know that that link will be available first thing in the morning it is limited seed and i made it small on purpose and we'll just grow it as we move forward so i pray you ladies will join me on october 6th and 7th in new orleans at the high Regency hotel for the i am woman conference and I think that's everything for today. Did I get everything, Brittany? Mm -hmm. T-shirts, I am woman. I'm going to try my best to post that link tomorrow. I love you guys with all my heart. And I'll see you guys in the morning. You guys are totally amazing. It's been a blessing to talk with y'all, to share the word with y'all, and to pray with y'all this morning. Have an amazingly great day. Prayer voice on the move. Amen, sister. I love y'all. Have a great day. Thank you, Jesus. He's so faithful. Thank you, Father.